How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and also to my little unboxing of the Thermal Take Level 20 RGB Titanium Keyboard. Now in this video, this is just going to be an unboxing, like a first impressions type of video. So uh, not I haven't opened it up yet. So first impressions for you guys and for me. Now, to my knowledge, currently, this is Thermal Tech's top of the range gaming keyboard, I believe. And they also have the uh, titanium edition and also the standard black edition, the aluminum black edition. Now, pricing wise, I'm not exactly too sure on everything, but I believe it's retailing for around $130. Pricing is a bit weird uh, currently, as you guys know, with the little bug. Uh, and for South Africa, it's around 2,500 Rand. So it's up there with some of the more premium uh, keyboards. Now, I haven't reviewed any Thermal Tech products really on the channel, so I'm actually looking forward to trying this one out because I do know they make good stuff. Sound. <laughs> All right. So first, the black box. Let's see what we get inside. Alrighty. So let's we take. All right. The entire thing is coming out. Nice. This is loose. All right. So we're just gonna put that to the side for now. You have your manual if you wanted to check something out. Because apparently this thing, you can do quite a bit. So we actually might need that. <laughs> Keyboard is quite heavy as well uh, and big. There, there we go. Put that there. Let's get this out of the way. Alrighty. So here is the keyboard. But firstly, so inside you do have a, a some additional keycaps that you can add some red ones if you wanted to. I'm not sure they do look. Double shot, I'll just have to check later on. And then also you do have a keycap a puller if you wanted to pull it out, but I don't even think you need a keycap puller for these. So that is that. Now, before we get into anything else, let's quickly connect it because this is crazy RGB. Thermal Tech always makes crazy RGB products. So let's just quickly connect it with its multiple connection cables. So we're gonna get into that as well. Alrighty, it is connected. Now, not all of the lighting's turned on. There we go. Boom. So, as you guys can see, it is everywhere RGB like crazy. And I actually do quite like it. Now, uh, firstly, for the switches, apparently you get a few ones. Uh, what I actually initially wanted me to review this one because I saw that it comes out with razor green switches which usually it's stuck with razor products razor switches comes up with razor keyboards but not with this but however it's only for the black version it looks like the one i have here is the speed switches so you do have your very fast switches which i'm not actually too big of a fan of it's a bit too quick and too yeah, just too quick for me. Now, I, I like a bit more tactile feel. And actually, when I know when I press something down with these ones, you can just like tap it, tap it, and, and it'll actually go off. So for typing, which I primarily do, it, it's not the best. But for gaming, of course, you want to have that that speed. And this is what the switches are for. Now, let's quickly just go over the rest of the keyboard first before we jump into anything else. So for the keyboard, it is quite sturdy and heavy you do what makes a keyboard actually cool is that around the sides everywhere you get rgb that side as well just like everywhere same goes for here in the middle you get like a rgb align the thermal take logo is rgb all of the keys are rgb so <laughs> again like i mentioned before if you want to go rgb then thermal take does go crazy with that so I, I like it. I honestly like to go full RGB, as you guys can see also behind me there. So uh, I'm digging it. Now, let's quickly just check something else. So audio controls, you do have your scroll wheel here. Nice low profile. Has a nice scroll. Uh, play, pause, skip, mute. You have your backlight on and off switch. Or your brightness switch. There we go. Windows lock game mode 
not sure exactly what the game mode is because usually game mode disables the the windows lock so i'm going to check that out in full review you have your mail home windows calculator i like to have my calculator shortcut always handy uh, you do have some other effects here let's we just see what we get so I'm just tapping to see what there is. Rainbow effect. Well, what's going on here? All right, snake effect. It's cool that it goes over the line here as well. That actually looks quite nice. Next, we have flashing. And then static or breathing. But I, I'm digging my rainbow wave. Now, I'm not sure if you can adjust. I didn't see that it actually changed the colors of the, the side. So maybe that'll you'll be able to do that inside the software. I'll have to check again for the full review. Uh, these are your profiles, I believe. There's so many things going on. So many options. See, that's the thing. I'm just going to have to play around with the keyboard and actually see what I get. I don't know what I did now. There we go. We're back. We're back. <laughs> All right. So uh, it's quite thick. And the reason for that is because you do actually have a USB and audio pass through. And that is why on the cable you had two USBs and also uh, that 3.5 millimeter TRS connection. So... I honestly love it when a keyboard comes out with uh, USB pass-throughs and especially audio pass-throughs as well. It's just a really handy uh, connection. If if you don't want to use it, you don't have to, but I have actually used it quite a bit. And even like when I have my audio headphone, my headphone stand, which has like a USB pass-through, I just use that even though my desk, uh, my, my PC is just a tiny bit further. It's just nice and close. So same goes for here so that is a screen check underneath um i actually just noticed now when i turn it over this like it is actually like an entire gap here that's interesting all right that's pretty cool keycaps it does feel very premium for the price point i am glad that they didn't skip out on anything switches I believe or double shot yeah the, the switches could probably have been a bit better because they they do feel uh abs plastic and not pbt i would have liked if it was pbt instead but it still feel nice it still feels nice underneath your fingers so yeah that's pretty much just it for my quick look now i'm not gonna go into anything too crazy again it's just a little unboxing and then the full review is going to be out on the main channel so check out the link in the video description so far i'm kind of digging it it looks cool it's crazy rgb which which is me and then it's also it feels very sturdy for the price point plus audio pass throughs and usb pass through which i love so yeah, that's pretty much it for my just quick little unboxing of the Thermaltake Level 20 keyboard, the titanium, titanium version. <laughs> Big thanks to Thermaltake for sending this one over. And again, check out the link in the video description for the full review in a bit. Thanks for watching, guys. I will leave all the links in the video description if you already want to get one for yourself. And then I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.